What's up guys? Welcome back to If It Wasn't For Tony. In this episode six, we're going to discuss relationships. Specifically, this is for all my single people. I want to remind y'all that recently broken up to, broken up with, you broke up with somebody, you feel it's hard to find a relationship, hard to get in a relationship, or you're just single by choice, this is for you. Now, for all my people that's in a relationship, that's happily married, I hope you Make it last forever. and I feel like you can still listen to this because it applies to everyone in this day and age, especially in the social media age, it's this pressure, it's this feeling that you have to be in a relationship or you're not in a relationship at a certain age. What's wrong with you? You don't got a boyfriend yet. You don't got a girlfriend yet. You're not married yet. You in your thirties and forties, you're not married. Everybody has their own view and own perspectives of a relationship, what they want out of one what they expect out of a partner, what they expect out of a marriage, what they expect out of a relationship. Starting from when you're young and you have a school crush, and you, you know, you go into high school, it gets a little deeper, you go into college, you get into your adult life, it gets a little deeper. But it seems like nowadays, people have this mindset of, you know, you have to be in a relationship or they look at other people weirdly if they not in one, like you haven't dated in how long? Are you single? Oh, and the reason why I'm really saying this is to let people know that without being in a relationship, I know that in my own experience, and I know that many people can attest to this. Sometimes you find that one of the best relationships you can have or build is with yourself. This is to let you know that you don't have to be pressured into being into a relationship. You don't have to feel forced into being in a relationship because sometimes you don't be in the headspace to be in one. And it's not that you have to have a certain mental capacity or your mental health has to be in a certain place to be in a relationship. Sometimes you have to focus on yourself. You have to work on yourself. Sometimes you just don't feel like being in one. And it's just like, am I the only one? To all my single people out there, sometimes you just want to be by yourself, work on yourself. You have your friends, you have your family, you have associates, you have acquaintances from every aspect of life, social media, in real life, at work, wherever. Sometimes you just don't feel like being in one. But it's this thing in society where it's like at a certain age, if you don't have a girlfriend or you don't have a boyfriend, or you don't have a significant other, people start looking at you funny. You're like, oh yeah, it must be something wrong with her. I see this a lot with celebrities too. Certain celebrities that don't have children by the time they're in their 30s and 40s or they don't have an extensive dating history. People are like, oh yeah, it must be something wrong with her. Oh yeah, she must be crazy. Oh, she's fine, but she ain't had a boyfriend. She not married yet. What's wrong with her? Oh, he's this, but he ain't married yet. Oh, he don't have a girlfriend. Oh, he must be... It's kind of like the assumptions that people go through, the hoops people go through just because someone's relationship is not up to society's standard of what you should be doing at what age. It's very interesting to see these different perspectives and see these viewpoints. And another thing with celebrities and social media and even these influencers that have thousands to the millions of subscribers on YouTube and followers on Instagram, a lot of them have this thing where it's like, they're like the ideal couple goals, couple goals. I see a lot of people posting them on their story and it's just like, this is like the ideal couple goal. Like this is what you aspire to be, you know, the successful husband, successful, beautiful wife. And y'all together, y'all have kids, they have a nice house and the cars and the fame and the this and the that. And y'all have this nice lifestyle. But if only some of y'all knew, if some of y'all knew what goes on behind the scenes, celebrities, influence, or regular people in life that seem like they got it all together, they could have just got done slap boxing each other. But then that same night, they posting on Instagram, date night with the hubby, date night with Bay, And you like, if only y'all knew what went on behind the scenes. The same day, that morning, they could have been fighting, arguing. But that night, they got to make a post for Instagram to make it seem like, oh yeah, we got it going on. Oh, we going on this date. Uh, everything is not all it's cracked up to be. Now, some people's relationships, you know, they have arguments here and there. It could be a nice, well-balanced equilibrium between the two people, but don't look at other people's relationships as a goal or what you want. Because like I said in my other episodes, like I say all the time, what's for you is what's for you. What's for them is what's for them. Like TLC said, just stick to, okay? And another thing I always found interesting is why people are so fascinated with other people's dating history and relationship status. It's really interesting, famous or not. I've even experienced this where you see like 
okay, I'm gonna talk about celebrities. It's such a fascinating story or headline. Oh, such and such is dating. And it's kind of like millions of clicks, millions of views, covering articles, it's trending on Twitter. The shade room is posting it. And it gets a lot of clicks, a lot of views, a lot of comments, people making videos about it on YouTube. When somebody gets divorced, it's a big thing. And of course, this is celebrity gossip. And you know, we look, people like to gossip and give their opinion. You know, I do it all the time. But it's kind of, I always find it interesting how people's relationship status is of such relevance to some people or such a trending topic. And even with myself, like I see our work or even at the few jobs I've had where, you know, coworkers, they might like each other and they start dating or, you know, some coworkers talk about their relationship problems they have. And, you know, sometimes I'd be eavesdropping, I'd be hearing stuff and I'm just like, hmm, like, wow, okay. Or another thing is when people like to ask, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, why not? Whoa, whoa, Holiday, wait, hold on, hold on, Holiday. Like, oh, it's like, oh, you don't have a girlfriend yet? Like, it's so weird. And I get it. At any age, at a normal age, whatever, people expect you to have a girlfriend. I'm like, am I the only one that just, sometimes you're in a headspace where you just don't feel like being in one? You just don't feel like being in a relationship? I know I'm not the only one. I know I said this earlier, but I gotta reiterate, I gotta emphasize. Sometimes you just don't feel like being in a relationship. Sometimes you're in a relationship with yourself. You're working on yourself. You're building up yourself. You know, I always say this too. Being in a relationship, it's like a job. It could be fruitful, it could be amazing, beneficial in many ways. It could be great for the spirit, great for your soul. But like being a parent is a job, being in a relationship is a job. Now you done made this connection with this person or this significant other. You always gotta check in on them, always gotta have a day night, always talking to them. You wanna get to know this person. You want this person to get to know you. That takes time, that takes effort. You know, it's deeper than a friendship. A relationship, you gonna get to know this person on a more intimate level which can weigh heavily on you emotionally and physically, if you know what I mean. So like I said, being in a relationship is like an unpaid job and you pay with your emotions in many ways. So that's why I always find it interesting when people are so surprised that, oh, you don't have a girlfriend yet? Oh, you don't have a girlfriend? Oh, you're not dating? It's kind of like, no, because I don't want to. Is that so strange and weird that you just want to be by yourself? You want to work on yourself? You just don't feel like being in one? Is that so weird? Is it? Oh my God. Because you know, talking around with certain people, sometimes at work you have those conversations and then when I explain it to them, they're like, oh, okay, I get it, I understand. I kind of like give them some type of, you know, food for thought that makes them be like, oh, okay, hmm. Because some people, they just, it's this rush. It's this thing that, oh, I gotta be in a relationship. Or, you know, every two months they talking to somebody new. Or you ever see, you never know those friends or those people that every two months they got a new boo? Well, you be like, whatever happened to Peter? Oh, I'm with Paul now. Whatever happened to Christy? Oh, I'm with Lexi now. You be like, damn, you move on kind of quick. And it's kind of like, you can't, like I said, another thing I wanna say, you don't know people's life. You don't know what people go through. Why somebody's always in a new relationship every two months, why somebody hasn't been in a relationship for a few months, maybe even a few years. So before you try to judge people, realize that you don't know everybody's back history, you don't know everybody's story, you don't know everybody's perspective on relationships, you just don't know what people are going through at the time or how people feel because everybody is not in a rush to be in a relationship and you shouldn't have to, no matter what age. Like I said in my last episode, so don't ever feel like just because you're a certain age and you're not in a serious, committed relationship yet, there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just working on yourself as you should be. Because another thing I wanna get into is toxic relationships. People that they feel like they have to stay in a toxic relationship just because, you know, they get what they want in other ways, but you know, it might be abuse, verbal, physical, or it's like toxic behavior, they always cheating on you, something like that, something to that degree. But you stick around, you stay with them just because you wanna fill that empty void that you think you have. Or you just wanna be like, okay, you'd rather be in a relationship with a cheater than not being one at all. Just to say that, oh, I have a boyfriend, I have a girlfriend. And it's kinda like some people's mindsets are like that. And it's like, wow. I know relationships, friendships, as we get older, as we mature, as we go through life, those are of high importance, of high value. But when getting into any relationship or friendship, you have to value yourself so you know when it's time to cut one off. Gotta go bye-bye. 
And just to make y'all feel good about yourselves, I wanna say, just because you're not in a relationship, especially if it's by choice, that doesn't mean that you're not desirable or you're not attractive or you feel like, you know, you see other people that always got people in their DMs or they always the center of attention, they always got guys or girls flocking to them. And you feel like, oh, nobody ever approaches me. Nobody ever asks me on a date. Nobody ever, there's nothing wrong with you. You got it going on. You got it going on. Some people don't see it, but that's not your problem. That's theirs. You see it. You see it for yourself. You working on yourself. When that relationship is meant to happen, it's going to happen. Don't rush nothing. Don't force nothing. Let it happen organically. Whether you want to try a dating app, somebody at your job or whatever, however it may happen, it's going to happen. And I say this all the time too. When it's right, you're going to feel it in your gut. You're going to feel it in your spirit. When you start getting those red flags, don't act colorblind. You see the red flag? It's a red flag. And when it's time to leave, it's time to leave. Gotta go bye-bye. But until then, be comfortable with yourself to know that you matter. You are important. And being in a relationship does not define you. I know some people love the gratification and the excitement of being in a relationship. But you have to know and you have to value yourself enough to know when it's going good and when things are heading downhill to not let yourself roll down it like jack and jill <laughs> you know stay on top be strong love yourself enough to know what type of relationship you deserve if you even want to be in one when the time is right the time is right until then have fun building a relationship with yourself getting to know yourself better and really exploring who you are before you give that to another person on that type of level that's just my advice from my experience and with that guys if you didn't take anything away from this episode i hope that it was to never rush into a relationship or stay in a toxic one just to fill an empty void because sometimes that void isn't meant to be filled use that time to work on yourself and your mental health and everything else will fall into place with that guys i thank you for tuning in to another episode of because if it wasn't for me who would talk about these things and if they do i'm pretty sure it's not like thank you for tuning in i'll catch y'all in the next